Hey guys, welcome back. Drip Coach here with Drip and Farm for Poverty, where we don't trust, we verify and operate with integrity and transparency. So today we're diving into an update on the bull run kicking off from Asia and what the rich and wealthy are doing that you need to be paying attention to. So stay tuned. All right. First and foremost, we're going to cover this article. Now, in the grand scheme of things, this is basically a small fish, but it shows that big money across different countries is looking into crypto in general. And of course, Bitcoin. This article as of October 10th says, Hi, SEC floats allowing crypto products in mutual and private funds. Thailand's high net worth investors would get more access to crypto funds than retail investors under the proposed changes. That's kind of key. It's like they want the rich to get richer. Same thing we have with accredited investors in the US. You constantly see that. And I bring that up because good old BlackRock has hit a all time high. So they hit a record of 11.5 trillion uh, assets under management. Literally a year ago, they were at nine and in less than a year or in a year or so, they gained basically $1.5 trillion. Like that is insane, assets under management. So this is again, proof that definitely the people with the wealth and the money are capturing more and more of that. And we are sitting here chasing shit tokens and stuff like that. While the World Economic Forum, you will own nothing and be happy because the wealthy are owning everything. So just showing you that here with Thailand and even on additional news on Cointelegraph, 47% of traditional hedge funds maintain crypto exposure. South Korea plans to regulate cross-border stable coin transactions. So there are moves going on around the board that showcase what we should be doing as crypto investors or looking into this financial opportunity as Ralph Powell said. So don't fuck this up. This uh, 10 trillion by the probably end of next cycle or end of this cycle, I should say 10 trillion um, in total market cap, which is sitting currently at 2.29. And then he is on record saying that it'll go to 100 trillion by 2030 or 2032. I keep forgetting what year that is. But the point is, there's at least a 40x to 50x baked into the cards just by you owning the blue chips. Maybe not all of them, but some of them, specifically Bitcoin, of course, that you can see a 50x in your portfolio. And again, that is because there is a butt ton of inflation coming in currency debasement. They don't have a way out of that. Their current way is to just debase the currency so they can inflate away the debt. And that's what every country is doing. And then behind the scenes, it looks like these countries are now seeing Bitcoin or potentially crypto as a way to add some kind of hedge against that. And they can use their fiat to purchase these assets that continue to appreciate. So that is the playbook again. The wealthy have always done it and are continuing to do it and show you what's going on. But sadly, a lot of us are still out here chasing shit tokens, thinking that these community projects are going to get you rich. They're going to get you wrecked. You may get lucky. Like I said, there are a few that will. But the bulk of you, wow, Lido jumped in. Hey, sorry. Saw that. Um, the bulk of you will get wrecked and be exit liquidity for others. That's just the way the nature of the game goes in these bull cycles. So I just keep putting these APBs out there. So hopefully you don't miss the boat and you see the writing on the wall. And I want to play this clip from Altcoin Daily where they actually are talking about what BlackRock is doing and how Michael Saylor sums it up in about two minutes. 
growth, how to unlock growth. No wonder BlackRock is buying their own Bitcoin ETF. Larry Fink has discovered the exact same thing Michael Saylor discovered about two years ago. Why is Bitcoin such a great long-term store of value? How can we be so sure? With every other asset on earth, anything else you can own, houses, gold, silver, commodities, stocks, bonds, when the price goes up, the supply increases. If I increase the price of, of any stock by a factor of 10, the company issues more stock. Of course. Bitcoin's the only thing in the world that's in elastic price. If the price of Bitcoin triples, you can't make any more. If the price goes up by a factor of a million, you can't make any more. How do you save $100,000 for 100 years and give it to your great-grandkids? You put it in the US dollar, you lose 99% of your economic energy. You put it in gold, gold supply doubles every 30 years. The gold bankers keep inflating the gold, maybe you lose 90% of your economic energy. But that would be a lucky happenstance because just about every country on Earth seized the gold from their citizens in the last 100 years. Everybody, even the US, they take the gold. Yeah. So, you want to save money for 100 years. You can't do it with currency. You can't do it with gold. Which company is going to be around 100 years? You want to put $100,000 into real estate in Florida? Can you buy $100,000? Let's say you could. 2% tax, 4% maintenance fee, 4% of $100,000, $4,000 a year. Your money's not going to last 100 years. How do I preserve my property, which is economic energy, which is capital, which is money? How do I preserve that? I need something harder, more durable. I need a steel. I need an economic steel. Steel is concentrated metallic energy. Bitcoin is concentrated digital energy. It's energy in digital form. Let's talk about the U.S. election. Uh, it's ironic that uh, we're talking about yeah real estate and we see what's actually happening. Not gonna get political with that, but you see what's happening in Florida and North Carolina, Maui, and those properties are gonna be snatched up by again the rich and wealthy. So this is the only one that cannot be seized from you, Bitcoin, because at the end of the day, it's a twelve word seed phrase that you can memorize if you'd like to and no one can take that from you they can't do the five dollar wrench attack as they say they try to beat it out of you but you don't have to share that information they'll take it with you to the grave literally you can die with it and no one can dig it up the egyptians try to take their wealth with them and they got robbed this is the only one that you can actually secure and like he said give it to your grandkids your great grandkids or whatever the case may be now when the final bitcoin is mined in 2140 or whatever that is yeah, who knows what will happen to it at that stage, but that's 115 years off from now. So you'll at least be able to get to your great, great, great grandkids to some degree. Right. So, um, again, just an all call focus on Bitcoin, the king of crypto. And don't fuck this up because a 40 X from here in the next 10 years is enough to make anyone financially well off, especially if you continue to dollar cost average, buy the dip and not FOMO into shit tokens and get wrecked. All right, that's all I got on this one. Smash that HBO special, help brother out, like, subscribe, comment down below, and until next time, lift daily and achieve possible. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.